All right, so I better report on this because this is the, the current goings-on that's being reported and happening. Um, Lou Lamorello is going to leave the Toronto Maple Leafs. He is going to join the New York Islanders either as president or as GM or as both, and that hasn't been decided yet publicly. I'm sure privately it's already been decided. Islanders fans will be very excited to be rid of Garth Snow if that is indeed the case. But he apparently has already met with John Tavares. So he's already sowing the seeds for whatever he's going to do with the team. Now, if Tavares walks, there's money to sign players. Lamarillo is an interesting case. Um, I'm kind of surprised he'd take over the Islanders as GM. Um, I, I kind of thought maybe he... Not, not that he'd stay in Toronto. I knew he wasn't going to stay in Toronto. He's not taking orders from Kyle Dubas. Um, when they interviewed Kyle Dubas after he got the job in Toronto, he didn't exactly shy away from the fact that he and Lou didn't get along. So Lou's like, yeah, I'm not listening to the kid. And I can't say I blame Lou on that one, but I didn't necessarily think he would take over a situation like with the Islanders. The Islanders are one of those tricky teams. They're not really bad, but they're not ready to jump into the playoffs as of yet either. If he can fix the goaltending... The good news is, Lou seems to be pretty good at finding goaltenders. Whether it's Corey Schneider or Marty Berdur, the guy seems to know how to work the whole goaltenders thing. Um, now, Lou's older, which I, I don't imagine he'll be the GM in New York for a prolonged period. Um, I would think three years. you got to think he's going to retire at some point, right? He can't manage teams forever. At some point, he's going to say, I'm just tired of this. I just want to relax. He could have done that with Toronto. Uh, anytime I see somebody getting bumped up to an advisory role, like as was happening with Francis in Carolina or uh, Dale Talon there in Florida, what I hear is, okay, we're going to pay you, go sit up in, in the balcony there, just sit in the press box, wherever you want to sit, we don't really care, just you're not making the decisions now. But we're going to pay you because you're under contract, so we're going to pay you for that. Um, Lou, moving on to the Islanders, takes on a, a really big challenge and kind of a a challenge against Toronto in that they're both in the East, right? What Lou does from here will be very interesting. Remember, uh, he and Dubas argued over a few things, um, and and we, I'm not going to get into the hearsay on that, but if Lou hadn't had Dubas there to help him make decisions, if he'd been making them all on his own, how different might the Leafs have looked right now? Interesting questions, uh, for sure. We'll see what they what they do at the draft table, those New York Islanders. Uh, what they do in terms of trades. Do they take those picks now and do they try to trade out and, and get their team better right now? Do they try to trade up in the draft and get the best prospect available? A lot of questions for the Islanders right now, and Lou's going to be the one that knows the answer. Now, if he takes over as president, here's the, here's the thing that throws me off. If he takes over as president and Gar Snow stays as GM, that's still going to leave Gar Snow with a bad taste in his mouth because he's still losing half of his job. If Lou is, is, is GM and Gar's president, that doesn't work, so that's absolutely not going to be what happens here. Is Lou going to do both? Um, I, I think after Toronto replaced him with Kyle Dubas, I think he might want to do that. Maybe this is him, him challenging himself and saying, yeah, I can still do this. Um, Toronto's attempt to kind of Put him out to pasture, as it were. Doesn't work for him. Anyways, if you're an Islanders fan, clearly you're excited. I've already seen comments on the channel about the excitement. And it hasn't been announced yet. And it probably won't be announced for, I would think, a few days. Although the fact that it's out there in the media right now, they may announce it tomorrow. It's the Islanders, so you just never know. Maybe they'll announce it at the draft. The Islanders have a strange way of doing things. Which is how this was their jersey for a short period of time. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.